so we are off to John Pye auction place today. Um, it's in Marchington, there are a few, I think there's one in Nottingham, there's one in Chesterfield, a few different ones. Um, so we're going to basically go and have a nosy, they have once a week they'll have like a morning where you can go and view all the different lots and um, you know check the quality and things like that. So we thought, it's luckily, Bank Holiday Monday they've got one on, we're open, we're open it's one. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're going to go and have a look at the different items. Uh, we've already saved some um, in the login that we've got for John Pye. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, get some videos while we're there as well. But it's definitely worth a trip over if you can. Yeah, because um, the stuff, it's like a mixture, isn't it? Some of it's mm. stuff that's been returned because it's got a bit damaged or yeah. um, it's a real mixture of stuff. So it's worth a yeah. look. Um, there are a lot of things where it's like, it's returns. Um, and say like made.com, um, they'll get however many returns and rather than having to go through them all and check what, you know, if there's if some, some things that are really minor, they'll sell them on. Yeah, and we, might be stuff we can like fix, we, it might be stuff that doesn't bother yeah. us. We got um, a dining table, for example, for 20 quid and it was a made um, one, which is 800 pounds and it had a little tiny chip in it and that's literally why it would have been returned. Um, nothing else wrong with it. To be fair, so, if we, if we paid for quid for it, yeah, I can understand it, that, but from spot. Maid's point of view, they all get that many returns. It's a case of how much time you spend processing it all. Mm. But yeah, we are gonna go and have a nosy, and uh, they've got loads of garden furniture this time round as well, which will always be helpful. And um, I spent a few hours in the night and I looking through. All yeah, he was like looking at loads. Sort of yeah. Saved it into your, your watched items almost. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll get some videos while we're there as well. And then, basically, you can have a look, see, check the quality, see if we're happy with it, and then go online and bid on things. I think when's the bidding? When's tomorrow, it finished? Is it tomorrow? tomorrow right? But you've got to be yeah. careful because I think they add on 25% for like a buyer's fee, and then I think they add another 20% for that. So you've just got to be careful what you bid. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll get some food videos. Got a lot of different pallets like this. Loads of food in. And a lot of made stuff as well. We didn't I don't think there was this much made stuff last time we came. It's all sorts. Just stuff like this. We've got bowls and stuff. Knives and pork. These are like really, really nice. There's a lot of garden furniture. A lot. Really nice. Mm. And lots of sofas and chairs. There's some over here that are really nice. these bench seat this bench seat as well to go with our dining table and possibly spray painting the legs yeah. it's like four <laughs> pound at the moment on the bidding it's concrete top so it would go really well I do you like this one that Andy's trainer looks like a good size I like the colour and that's on 120 at the minute You've got one of the storage units that's got loads of clothes, or like different random stuff, shoes, all sorts in this one. It's a really nice um, trainers actually that I've seen. Lot 11 is a really good one. So come and have a look in. We've got stuff like this. I mean obviously it's going to be different each week but they do generally when we've been here before. They've got quite a lot in this one. This is really nice. Oh, that's fine. See, this is thing. Like, I suppose that's just easy to fix. But it's good to come and have a look and see things that are like, you know, sort of too damaged or things that you can easily repair. There'll be a lot of things that are new that might just have a little mark on them. I love this sofa. It's so nice. But it's just worth having a really good look at them and checking that there's no, like, you know, not too much damage or whatever one for example it marked on the back so it's how much yeah and there's a brick at the back as well
This one's quite nice as well for garden. Good condition. How random are these? This light, wow. And I've got a few like that as well. Big lights. Something that's good as well is if they'll have like say a few of one, they'll have one out and then a load of them. So you can potentially get one that's all boxed up. Same so like well. dining table over there, there's loads of them. Also means that it'll be a little bit easier to win one if there's a few. But we really like this. It's just like a side table. And this is a table that we were saying that there's quite a few of. Wow, that's different. Wow. No bids on most of these. Wow. So something like a, a company's gone out of business and there's quite a few of them. Another nice sofa. Like I say, it's just worth having a really good look around them and seeing if they've got any rips or anything. Really nice furniture. Randy likes this one because of the handles. Nice. Yeah, all sorts. Fridge freezers, dishwashers. So we've just left John High. Um, yeah, there were loads of stuff, wasn't there? Yeah. Loads of stuff, loads of garden furniture. Um, really liked um, some of the rattan that they had. Um, with definitely worth coming and having a look because you know you can have a really good look around at everything. Uh, there might be stuff that you didn't notice online already, um, and you've got like a good. You could like if you can first thing and you've got sort of a good four hours to have a look around everything um yeah the furniture that we liked some of the garden stuff some of the chairs like for in the house there wasn't anything wrong with them um the odd mark maybe that you'd see on some things but you just have to have a look and decide whether it's worth worth bidding or not um like we were saying like there's some sofas and stuff we'd only really go for sofa if it was say from made and it'd been a return for like just because of a little mark or something like that um we'd, we'd be interested it's one that we saw that's like a green one for the cinema room so yeah overall it's definitely worth a visit um then you once you bid and if you win anything then you know you could potentially have a van or whatever how are you going to do it for us we're about an hour and a half away so it needs to be sort of worth while um yeah, like ordering it, like, yeah, we definitely need to be quite a few things for it to be worth, you know, hiring a van and coming over and stuff, getting a few bargains. But yeah, there's all sorts. There is all sorts. Like one of the lots was, um, it was all um, like shoes and jackets and like a real variety. We were saying like there was like stuff that like bulk things or there was like new new things and then there was some stuff that were clearly second hand like more like a sort of car boot sale type thing wasn't there as well yeah, it was a real mix of like stuff. a mixture of things but it's so worth coming and having a good look because some of the chairs you might online the photos if we say try and do as much as I can to make sure that give you as much information as possible but it's definitely worth coming and having a look at things and seeing if there is any marks or anything that you'd that would put you off or yeah, but it is definitely worth having a look. Yeah, definitely. We didn't film very much because we were rushing around trying to see everything we wanted to see. Yeah, we didn't have that much time. We had about an hour and a half um, in the end. Um, enough time to have a good have a look around. But yeah, I would say worth a visit and make sure you you know win as much as possible for it to be worth travelling back in a van if you need to hire a van. Say, but we just found that it works quite well for us when we've when we've done it it's because um, we've got quite a few things now and like I say it's always been new things that are returns that might have a little mark on or whatever that's like next to nothing or something that can possibly be repaired quite easily but yeah some really nice garden furniture this time around but always worth having a really good look on the um, online at the auction and then seeing whether it's a good week to do it because obviously it's going to vary week to week but yeah thanks for watching as always and um we will uh, probably share some videos on um instagram as well if we do decide to buy anything um actually we'll probably add a bit more to this video um if we do if we do win anything but yeah thanks for watching bye, bye. so after going to john pie we 
Um, decided to bid on a few things. Uh, one of the lots that I was really interested in was some that had uh, made um, knives and forks. And we ended up getting, we didn't realise it was this much stuff, but we ended up getting about five sets of these, which I think they're about £65 a pack online. Um, there was some silverware as well, um, 12 piece set plates and bowls, and three of these cups, which are not made, but they were, we looked online and they're £12 each. Quite cool, like coffee cups, even, you could use them as. Um, some shelves and this, which is like, we think it's a broken mirror. So, yeah, not worried about that. But this came in at £65 for this lot. So, no, less, I think, less than um, about £60, including that. And one set of these would be £65 online. So, really, really good deal. It is really worth going and having a look at these places. We also were on a rattan set, yay! Um, it took some doing, but yeah, real rattan. Um, we managed to get it for 600, eight seater, um, including a couple of footstools and a table. Yeah, came in at 600 pounds. If we were buying them from say like Amazon, they were 1200 pounds, so we've done really well with that. Really chuffed. We also randomly decided to bid on a couple of Christmas trees, which we won. And um, they, we've had a look at, look really good quality. We won them for £10 and one of them is like £180 online and it's got lights with it. So really, really impressed with that. So overall, happy with what we've managed to get. Definitely worth going, I think. Um, going and having a look if you can. Um, and if you're going to bid on stuff, if you live close by, great. Um, if make, make Obviously just make it worth your while if you're going to hire a van. Uh, we hired a van, Andy just went and picked them up Friday afternoon, got everything in, and yeah, really, really chuffed with what we managed to get. So we will be looking in the future for other things, but yeah, um, very happy with them. So as always, thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned for more updates.